right, fire on the hole. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, today's the big day. It's been a long, almost four months now, and today we're gonna attempt to start the swapped LS motor for the very first time. Uh, I'm very excited, <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, but the very first thing I have to do here is unlock the car's computer. Of course, this being like a, an LS uh, model GM ECU, it has the VAT, uh, whatever security system on it, but there is a way to delete this, and this should be the key here. HP tuners. I've never done this before, but this is a, an OBD2, you know, computer reflasher, editor, whatever. So I should be able to plug this in. All right, plugged in. Ooh, got a green light, that's good. Load up VCM editor, I think. So I'm gonna attempt to turn on the ECU, and this is actually the very first time I'm putting power through the system, so uh, it's kind of a big moment, actually. I'm a little, a little bit nervous, but I think I got everything hooked up over there, fused, relayed, all that stuff. I got the fuel pump <laughs> turned off, so you know nothing unexpected happens. Okay, uh, and I think the key should do it. Here goes nothing. Okay, no smoke, that's good. Uh, one thing I wanna double check here, let's make sure that we got power. All right, we do have 12 volts battery and we do not have 12 volts ignition. Uh, shoot, okay, something happened here. Let me figure it out real quick. Okay, here's why. Because I have zero fuses in this fuse block here. Uh, I'm an idiot, okay. <laughs> let's, uh, let's put some fuses in here and we'll try this again. Okay, there we go. We got a fuse only in the PCM circuit here. I can leave the fuel pump off, uh, neutral safety switch don't need, and we definitely don't need the fans either. So, got a fuse there. Let's give this one more try. All right, here goes. Uh, okay, let's make sure we got, well, let's make sure there's no smoke. Okay, no smoke, and let's see if we got ignition power this time. 12 volt ignition. Yes, we do, awesome. Uh, not quite 12 volts. Maybe I'll plug in a battery charger to this thing, but we got power, looks good. So theoretically, this uh, ECU should be on. Uh, detect protocol failed. I have no idea what that means. Let me do some research real quick. All right, so we're not getting any link here. I'm gonna check some uh, wire continuity really quick. Maybe a power wire on the ECU or maybe, uh, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Okay, I, th I think I found the problem. We have good data connectivity from the PCM to the OBD2 port, but I actually fused the PCM twice, one for the battery and then one for the um, ignition. So. This is what's needed. Now I'm gonna plug this back in, and then I think we should be. Well, <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not even gonna say it, but then we'll try it again and we'll see if that works. All right, all plugged in. Let's uh, give this guy a try first. Ugh, why? Ah, nice. Well, my, my little scanner tool didn't work, but the HP tuners does seem to work. GM Gen 3 V8, looks good. So, <laughs> no idea why that didn't work, but we'll ignore that for, uh, you know, uh, uh, we'll ignore that for now. This is what's important, and it looks like we're downloading uh, data from the ECU, which is awesome. All right, almost there. System, system, ah, here we go. Uh, VATS control, serial. Okay, uh, serial, click none, and save. And that's it, I guess. <laughs> I, th I think it's unlocked. Uh, well, I have to write to the ECU, but I think this tune is now uh, unlocked. Go ahead and are you filming? Okay. Woo. Okay, it's time for a start. I'm nervous. Okay, oil, uh, water in the radiator, transmission, um, we got the shifter. Okay, let's do it. Okay. I'll just do a quick little turn very quickly to make sure it's not in gear. I'm pretty sure it's not, but... Put my foot on the brake. Fuel pump. Here we go. Uh, nothing. Okay, uh, we... We might do this the old fashioned way, which is using the, uh, the cable.
Okay. Oh, here we go. It sounds pretty good. That started up so fast. That was like the quickest starting first start I think I've ever, I think I've ever seen. Uh, no gas pedal though, so that's gonna be the first thing I gotta figure out. It works. It runs. <laughs> so happy. Cheers. All right, gas pedal. Why don't you work? <laughs> My first thought is that uh, this little pedal computer here needs to be possibly grounded, maybe? Let me throw ground on this guy. Or actually, you know what? Yeah, I should. And supposedly with the key on this and with the engine not running, this should actually move the throttle blade. So I should hear it here if I uh, you know, turn, this, turn this key on. Let's see. Nope. Well, uh, let's see, I'm gonna check some connections. We'll check some wires and then uh, we'll start checking like voltage and continuity, things like that. All right, I think I found the problem here. This is the connector, the main connector for the, I think it's called the TAC or something, TCC, uh, the, the pedals computer, which is overly complicated in my opinion, but so be it. <laughs> so the first things obviously to check for are ground and power. And I am getting 12 volt ignition on the pink wire here, so that's all good. But I'm not getting ground on the ground wire, so I bet I have a disconnected ground somewhere in there. If I start with that wire and trace it back, I should be able to locate at least like, you know, junctions and things and hopefully find where it goes. Aha, uh -huh. okay, I traced back the wire to this bad boy, and I was even nice enough to uh, label it for myself, ground, and this is the ground for the gas pedal. So I'll probably ground it to the back of the head right there, and hopefully this thing will work. Let's set the camera up here and see if, uh, see if this thing works. I suppose that means you guys will know before I do. All right, let's give it a try. Oh yeah, I could hear that. I could definitely hear that that was working, so awesome. I just need to uh, permanently ground this thing and then we should be in business. All right, got this guy uh, grounded and I wanna go ahead and try and fire this thing up again. I'm curious if, uh, if this thing runs any better. All right, here we go. way better. It's actually idling. Oh, look at that. We got oil pressure. Awesome. Let's give this a try now. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Sounds good. So it kind of sounds like the idle is good now. Before it sounded like it was idling maybe up around like 2000 or 2500 RPM. That definitely sounded a lot closer to 1000 RPM or whatever. All right, uh, I think it's time to hook up the computer. We'll see what kind of engine codes we got and get ready for the first test drive. Okay, uh, so I got some of these wires tucked back a little bit. <laughs> I got these wires tucked back just a little bit better here, um, a little bit further away from the exhaust manifolds because right now I wanna try and bring this thing up to, to temperature. I don't know about full operating temperature, but I wanna bring it up 
a little bit warmer and kind of just start uh, troubleshooting, diagnosing um, any problems that there might we might have. So, yeah. Uh, oh, and I got an air intake on this guy. I got the world's cheapest, simplest little air intake there. Uh, I don't know how much cold air it's going to get, but it's going to get air anyway, and it's going to be filtered. So it's got that going for it. <laughs> All right, let's fire this uh, thing up again. Yeah. Oh, and I got the computer connected as well. So um, I got, I don't really know how to use this HP tuners, but I loaded VCM scanner. So I'm hoping that I get gauges here. I guess there's only one way to find out here. So let's do this. All right, and I gotta, <laughs> I gotta start it over. All right, fire in the hole. Timing is timing. STB1, I have no idea what that means. Oh, uh, I bet that's uh, O2 sensors, bank one, bank two. I'm gonna give it a little throttle and we'll see if we got a throttle position sensor. No, <laughs> but clearly the throttle's working, so we got that. I really want to have, oh, look at that. Was that moving before? Nope, it just started. Huh. Maybe it had enough data now to display these lines, whatever they, oh, they are. Uh, I moved it. I moved the mouse. Oh, accelerator position. I want to see if that moves. Oh, sweet. You see that? Mm hmm. Oh, it's. Oh, we got some smoke up here. Let me see what's going on. I'm thinking it's just oil that dripped onto the manifold. Yeah, I think so. That's what it looks like. Dude, it sounds pretty good though. Yeah, silently nice. All right, it's warmed up a little bit, so I think it's I think it's time to give it a little, uh, just a little rev, a little beats. So next thing I want to check here is kind of to make sure that we're firing on all six cylinders. Whoa! Excuse me, all, <laughs> firing on all eight cylinders. Been working on the Nissan too much. Uh, so I'm gonna use my little thermometer here and make sure I got heat, even amount of heat. So two, about 280. Oh, three. Okay, there we go. Three, about 300. Thirty, about 300, and a little less. 360. Ooh, that's this, high. This one's not shielded though, so I wonder if that has something to do with not getting a good reading. Yeah, I can't really get a good reading, but as long as they're, as long as I get good heat out of all of them. Ooh, yeah, that was 300. 300. Uh, I, I think that's good. Um, I feel like it would be significantly less if we weren't getting, if we were getting a misfire, if we were missing one cylinder. Also, it would run a lot worse than this, I think. There is a little bit of a whistle. Is it from the intake? I don't know. Got no fans yet, but I don't think the thermostat's open yet either, so. Engine coolant temperature, there we go. What are we at? 189. Okay, we're close. It might open up soon. Yeah, it'll probably be around like 200 or 210. Actually, you know what? <laughs> this thing did not have power fans when uh, when it was in the Tahoe or in the uh, Yukon. Mm -hmm. It was a manual fan. So I probably have to set that so I 
definitely will not let this get too hot. over 210. Yeah. But I just kind of want to see that. Um, just kind of want to see that thermostat open. So we're at 192. It's close. We're getting some air pockets. Oh, also. Water in there, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking it's thinking it's opening right now. Yeah, it's definitely hot. Upper radiator hose is hot, so I guess we can call that good if you want to kill it. All right, so that was the first time bringing this thing up to temperature, and it seemed uh, perfectly happy. I didn't notice any sort of like abnormal misfiring, and uh, one big win for sure. Zero leaks from from anywhere, really. We'll know for sure when we do a first drive, but uh, you know, engine oil, all of that stuff, no uh, coolant or anything like that. And I definitely did some hacking in here, so I'm just super happy to see that uh, we don't have any issues that I can see. I mean, there's some oil hanging out here and there, but I think this was from when I overflowed the, uh, the power steering and, uh, you know, a few other, I think just some of this was just uh, leftover spills. So no uh, oil dripped on the ground anyway. So that's awesome.